Hey guys, so today I am working with Uncle Funky's daughter to bring you this completed holiday look. <laughs> So I headed to Rite Aid to grab the products that I needed to create this look. And I started out in the makeup aisle just to kind of browse around to see what kind of look I wanted to create. I always get inspired by looking at different makeup palettes to figure out what I want. And then I headed to the hair aisle because I had to stock up on my Uncle Funky's Daughter products for this look. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this brand and this entire line. So I had to make sure to grab that while I was at Rite Aid. Now on to makeup. So for my makeup, I'm going to be using this Pro Fusion Glitter and Glam Makeup Palette. I'm starting out with the color Whipped to apply that all over my eye just to kind of like mute out any color or discoloration on my eyes. And then I'm going in with this color Cookie. It's such a gorgeous color. I went in light-handed at first, but then realized that I can definitely layer this eyeshadow on to really intensify it. And that's what I did here. And I'm applying that just to my crease and then kind of just blowing it out. And then I'm applying this like forest green shimmery color. It's always hard for the camera to pick up glitter, but it's a really, really pretty green color. Then I'm taking platinum and applying that just to the center. It's kind of like a lighter silvery kind of color just to make the eye color pop a little bit more and also the eyeshadow pop a little bit more. And if you guys wanna win your own makeup palette, make sure to follow myself and Uncle Funky's daughter on Instagram and stay tuned for our Grateful for the Funk giveaway. Then I'm applying the highlight shade Dazzle to my face. And you guys know I'm a little extra with highlight, so I went heavy with the highlight. And then also what I did was add the color Cheers in the eyeshadow side, and I applied that to my highlight as well. It's a pretty warm color, so I think it looked really good with this look. Then applying the darker blush shade, I'm applying that to my cheeks just a little bit. I'm not too crazy about blush, but I think this blush was pretty. And then I'm adding a little bit more of that cookie warm brown color to the bottom. So moving on to eyeliner, I love the Wet n Wild waterproof eyeliner. Here I'm holding my breath so that I can get that perfect wing liner. Next, I'm moving on to lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies, but you don't have to go like lashes. This right here, this L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara is one of my favorites, especially for those who have natural lashes. I really like the way that that makes my lashes look as well. So here I'm just blending. And then I applied a little bit more of the platinum color just to kind of like open up my eyes a little bit more. Then I'm taking this Koki lip veneer. It's actually a cream gloss, so it's really comfortable. But now we are going to move on to the hair. So this is what I have in my hair right now, the good hair and the curly magic. But I'm first gonna go in with Thirsty Curls to use it as a revitalizer and kind of add a little bit more moisture back in my hair. But this is great if you don't want to just keep piling on your product and you want to just give it a refresh. This is great for that. Then after that, I always kind of just use my hands to smooth down any frizz that I have because as it dries, that Thirsty Curls really helps to just make the curls pop a little bit more. Then this is where I am going to start sectioning and doing my hair. So I'm first gonna take this first top section of my hair. You can take different sections than I do, but this is kind of how I did it to get the look that I got in the end. So I started up here at the top and I wanted like a little poof at the top. So I went ahead and like made it loose. Then I'm taking my next section and I wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna be doing this. So what I did was grab the section in the front and then I attached it to the section that I already did above it. So I'm combining them all together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie the hair tie. Then I'm gonna take the next section and only take the front parts of my hair and then push it to the back and then apply another rubber band. But again, I'm combining it with the section above it. So I'm not making a separate, I am adding it to the ponytail above it. Now I did this on dry hair because I love the fluffy look, but you can totally do this on wet hair and section your clean parts. You could totally stop here, but I am gonna keep going. So I'm gonna apply another rubber band 
underneath the one that I already created. So it's really, really easy. If you're not good at braiding, it's a really, really great way to style your hair. So then one more rubber band, and then I'm gonna be adding one last rubber band to the base of my hair. Now to kind of help tame that frizz around the crown of my head, I'm using the Thirsty Curls and I'm gonna use that to kind of slick back my hair, but I ended up using bobby pins to really push back those flyaways. Now I found these rhinestone pins at Forever 21 and you can apply those or anything. You can use flowers, you can put ribbon. There's so much creativity that you can do here and I absolutely love the way that the rhinestones just give a little extra. Now I'm taking this glossy finishing polish and I love the way that this makes my hair it literally makes it shiny and I love that so this is the finished look you guys I hope you really enjoyed this thank you uncle funky's daughter for working with me on this collaboration you guys know I'm a huge fan of their products let me know what you guys think of this completed holiday look in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye